back everybody, so today I'll be talking about this new Arena Rose. So, Arena summons Jensu. Let's check him out. So, attack type he is a ranged normal attack character with all of his attacks inflicting paralysis. Alright, I'm gonna check the steals in a couple of seconds. So, let's go through the basics first, so he is a speed character with 792 attack, which is significant, significantly good, um, not as high as the top tier units, but still as an arena character, he is certainly not bad. So killer, soul reaper, that's good, soul trait. Neural attack damage plus 30%, so he's got the increased soul tree. Very nice. And innate steals, obviously, we've got three innate steals slow immunity, guard break, and damage to paralyzed enemies plus 20%. That's very good. Especially guard break, like this is game changing for real. So, attainable steals. Let's check him out. Bruiser plus 20%, Berserker plus 30%, Debilitator plus 5 seconds, Sprinter plus 1, Flurry plus 1, Devastation plus 20%, Weaken Defense and Poise. Decent, very very decent. Let's check the arena traits. Damage taken minus 10% and normal attack damage plus 13%. Arena abilities other than all stats plus 5% are all stats plus 10%, start power up item plus 2, long stride and flurry plus 1. Alright, so he basically has flurry plus 2 in arena that is. So flurry plus 2, long stride, poise, guard break and um, within defense, right? With normal tech damage plus 30% as his soul tree, he is very good. I mean, of course, he is made for arena, so he's definitely gonna be dominating in arena, uh, as uh, same applies to the other arena characters. But um, even if you'd like to use him uh, on cope, so in cope he's also he's also gonna be good, but I doubt that you could actually um, auto run or like speed run you know <laughs> uh, but he's certainly good with guard break flurry and poise like he's not bad at all also he is ranged so that's something that you should keep in mind that ranged characters are actually quite better to auto and so I'm pretty sure he's probably gonna be really good um, let's see the fillers, obviously we've got arena characters, arena Nelio, arena Yami, that's um, not an arena character, um, I even forgot her name, I'll just call her Dirty Boots, alright? <laughs> so I doubt that she got an arena character, I, I honestly can't even remember, or maybe... Maybe she... whatever. Let's just say Dirty Boots, Arena Ulkiora, Arena Kinpachi, Arena Byakuya, Arena Grimjo, and Spirit Society Byakuya? What? Why did they include uh, uh, Spirit Society Byakuya in there? So I guess that Dirty Boots is also an Arena character, because Otherwise, I won't see any reason for her to be in there, but Seasonal Spirit Society Byakuya, um, that's a little bit strange, they could have included anyone, uh, especially a premium character, why did they include a seasonal one, I don't understand. Oh well. Um, that's pretty much it, the format is terrible, 3%. Starting off with 3%, going all the way up to 8% on the guaranteed multi, but the first multi is 50 speed drops, that's the only good thing about this. So I'll suggest you, if you'd like to summon, do only up to 
the third step, which are the discounted as uh, uh, the discounted multis 50, 150, and 200. I wouldn't suggest you going past that, but if you have enough spirit rooms, you might as well go to uh, step five because step five is guaranteed. So yeah, if you want to summon. Um, bear in mind that this is just an arena sound selection and if you don't play arena then I, will, I won't suggest you to summon on this. If, you, if you're playing arena uh, just think whether you're interested in getting any arena character, uh, especially Rose because this is primarily his sound selection or like individual you could say. Though, obviously, from the fillers you can get any other arena character, which is great for you, but uh, I'll say that maybe if you're not that hyped, um, you could save and summon when the next arena character comes out, because um, honestly, arena characters come out every month, like literally every single month, uh, just before, just a couple of days before mid-month, so I'll say maybe save up as much as you can and then summon on in the future, but that's just my opinion. Um, otherwise, yeah, if you're not playing arena, or even if you are, it's not... Um, it's not obligational to get arena characters, you can, you can play ar arena with... Um, like the premium characters or the seasonal characters like doesn't doesn't have to be an arena character but of course arena characters give you that um that little bit more um because they're made for arena you know so yeah that's just that i'm gonna stop rambling on now and i'll see you in my next video i'm gonna watch the gameplay right now I forgot to show you the gameplay, so that's what we're gonna do right now, and then um, it's gonna be it, yeah. Uh, though I gotta say first that I'm not gonna summon because I'm kind of low on spirit herbs, and honestly, um, arena characters, yeah, I'm not gonna summon on them yet. I did get Grimjo in the past, like Grimjo was the first arena character that was released, and I did summon on that, but. After that, I didn't summon on any other arena characters because um, getting spirit herbs, man, it's kind of tough now. And um, I'll say that I'll summon on arena characters in the future if they are worth, if they are worth that is. So yeah, that's it. Let's go and watch the gameplay now. <laughs> Okay, surprisingly enough, his gameplay is actually quite good. I was not expecting that. Um, it's really, really, really good, really decent. I enjoyed it and um, overall a very good arena character but I'm not gonna summon I may actually summon in the future but for now that's an easy step arena characters yep really cool see you next time <laughs>